Hi, this is Congressman Nick Langworthy. And as my first year in Congress comes to an end, I want to thank everyone across Western New York and the Southern Tier for the honor of a lifetime to re represent you in the United States House of Representatives. Since I was sworn in last January, I've made it my top priority to get this country back on the right track and to pass common sense legislation that puts the needs of Western New York in the Southern Tier first. I've traveled across all seven counties in New York's 23rd District many times this year, and I've heard the same things, that the cost of living is too high, that Washington's spending is out of control, and that we must secure our southern border immediately. I'm proud that our Republican majority got to work passing H.R. 1, the Lowering Energy Cost Act, to restore American energy independence by blocking burdensome regulations from the Biden administration. We also passed H.R. 2, the strongest border security bill in our nation's history, to stop the invasion at our southern border and into our communities right here in western New York that President Biden and Democrats in Albany have allowed to happen. Throughout this whole year, we've been focused on reining in reckless spending in Washington. And for the first time in decades, Congress avoided a bloated trillion dollar Christmas omnibus spending bill. And for the first time in our history, we got the government to spend less money than it did the year before, resulting in $1.5 trillion in savings to taxpayers. We've passed major reforms by opening up the process and passing 12 separate government funding bills that will right-size our budget, provide transparency to taxpayers, and bring fiscal sanity back to Washington. Changing the status quo is never easy, and we have much more work to get our country back on the right track. But there's no mistake that our House majority has been effective at stopping the runaway train of spending and the far-left agenda that was rubber-stamped under one-party rule. In addition to these priorities, I'm proud of the legislation I've introduced for the unique needs of New York's 23rd District. From my first bill, the Lakes Before Turbines Act, to the Dairy Pricing Opportunity Act, the Energy Choice Act, and the Rural Telehealth and Education Enhancement Act. One of my proudest accomplishments this year was my work with a Buffalo colleague, Congressman Brian Higgins, to successfully pass a bipartisan amendment to the FAA authorization that provides the pilot flight training hours for the families of Flight 3407 that they fought so very hard for. This is an issue that's very close to home for Western New York, and it's the right thing to do for the safety of the American public. Now, whether it's through legislation or constituent service, my office is there to be a voice for you. And I have a great team of professionals that work in our district who are ready to fight for you and to help our constituents get the answers that they need whether it's straightening out veterans' benefits or making sure you get your passport on time, no problem is too big and no problem is too small. Just this year, we've closed almost 1,200 constituent cases. We've returned $5.3 million to constituents from the government, money that the government should have turned over a long time ago. We've sent more than 73,000 responses to constituents to their questions and their concerns, and we're just getting started. Communicating with you has always been one of my top priorities, and this year I've hosted telephone town hall meetings every single month, connecting with hundreds of thousands of constituents across our district for over an hour to answer your questions directly. And as we head into the new year, I want you to know that my office is here for you. If you need help or you just want to share what's on your mind, I invite you to join our monthly telephone town hall meetings or call us at the office or sign up for my weekly newsletter. And you can do all of these things by visiting our website at langworthy.house.gov. Thank you again for the honor of serving you in Congress. And may you and your family have a Merry Christmas and a joyous New Year. God bless you and God bless the United States of America.